In this video on C Sharp Basics, let's take a look at classes and reference types. So I thought this would be a good time to introduce the idea of reference types and how they differ from something called value types. Value types are your more traditional variables where the value is actually stored within the variable. Reference types are slightly different though. Reference types are data types which hold a reference to a location in memory rather than the data itself. So if you have your memory on your computer and you go and create a variable, say my object, what's going to actually be contained in this my object is a reference somewhere to a spot in memory or a memory address. And that spot in memory is going to actually contain the data of the my class object. This becomes a very important concept to understand when you try to create other objects and assign one object to another. Now you're making a copy of the memory address. You're not making a copy of the data. So now both my object to and my object point to the same my class object in memory. To illustrate this, I'm going to go ahead and show you some code. So let's go ahead and create an integer called x and assign it an initial value of 7. Then I'm going to go ahead and create another variable, call it y, and assign it the value of x. Now if I go and take y and add 1 to it, then write to the console window the value that we have of x what do you suppose we're going to see? So let's go ahead and finish this out, console.readline. So what do you suppose the value of x would be when it writes it out to the console window? Let's go ahead and save this and run it. Since integer is a value data type, the value of x, which is 7, is actually copied into the value of y. So at this point, y is equal to 7. Then when we add 1 to y, the value of x remains 7, and the value of y is increased by 1. Just understand that when you assign a value from a value type to another variable, you are assigning a copy of the actual data value. Now let's take a look at classes, which are a reference type. So here we have our original myObject, and I went ahead and assigned it a new instance of my class. The initial value of ver a value one property is going to be eight, and the initial value of value two is going to be three, based upon what I'm passing into the constructor of this my class. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is create another my class variable, and I'm going to call it my object two. Then I'm going to assign it my object. Now inside of the my object two, I'm going to go ahead and change the value for value one and change it from the initial value of eight to 100. Notice that I'm changing the value on my object two and I'm leaving my object alone. So the value of my object is eight and three and then the value of for value one on my object two has been changed to 100. Now what do you suppose is going to happen if I run the do math method on the original my object? So that's this object here. Well let's go ahead and save this and run it and see what happens. So the result is 103 and this can be very confusing to a lot of people the first time that they see it. Instead of the result that we expected from when we were running the int data types, here we actually have an effect between one object and another. And that's because of this line right here, where we are assigning my object to my object too. If you recall in the PowerPoint presentation, we were saying that there is instead of the values and the data itself being copied from one reference type to another, you're actually copying a pointer that points back to a space in the memory. So when we're assigning 
the value of my object to the value of my object two, both my object two and my object one are now pointing to the same space in memory. When we change the value for value one in memory, that's effectively changing it in the spot in memory that both objects are now referencing. So regardless of which object that I ran the do math method on, both would return the same result.